What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing a diesel heater. This is an eight kilowatt hour diesel heater by Vivor. It's the short one and not the tall one because of where I want to put it. And I'm going to be installing it on this side of the box, right here in front of where the wheel well is. And I figure I'll mount it this way and have the fuel tank mounted against the wall and then I'm actually going to be making this into a platform that's going to be a desk in a future video. As you can see, my computer, everything right there. But today we're going to be uh, focusing on installing this diesel heater. So let's get started. This diesel heater comes with an external fuel tank as opposed to the tall standing one that has a built-in fuel tank with it. The intake and the exhaust pipe are both located at the bottom of this unit and this kit provides you with a flange to mount it to the floor. So the first thing I'm doing is finding the perfect position to mount this thing and then I'm going to make a hole in my floor. Now that I have this hole in the floor, now I can mount this bracket to the diesel heater and then install these pipes and then before installing the diesel heater I'm going to be using this fire block sealant around the hole so I can keep it fireproof. The exhaust and the intake pipes also come with a muffler and an air filter as well just to keep rodents out and the muffler is to keep it quiet. The directions this kit came with was just a diagram, but nonetheless, I installed these two pipes using the supplied clamps that came in the kit. I put fire block sealant around the lip of the hole, and I also smeared it on the inside of the hole to try to protect my floor. The fuel line also attaches to the bottom of the heater as well. And on the outside here, I have the intake pipe and the exhaust pipe mounted. That's mounted to the side with the muffler on it. And the intake pipe there is mounted to that side over there. I kept them separate as you're supposed to. And the exhaust here actually flew out a little bit past the body line right there. It should make it so I don't suck any of those fumes in. Now that the diesel heater is installed, the next thing to do is to hook up the wiring. As you can see, it comes with a wiring harness, a central control that plugs into the harness, and it also comes with a remote. So this plug here is actually what plugs into the diesel heater itself, that white plug right down there. And then you have a couple of other plugs here. This one's going to go to that display that I was showing you. Um, of course, you have a negative and then a positive. And then this one here gets plugged into the fuel pump. And then you have an inline fuse. So the next thing we're going to do is get this fuel set up going and wire it up. But before we do that, we're going to install this frame piece that I built so I can route the wires and the fuel line through it so that I can repurpose the top and make this a platform. So I have this frame installed and the reason why I wanted it is because I'm going to be putting something here but that's going to be in the next video. I have to put a handle but this top is actually meant to slide back and off. There's a piece of paneling that's going to go here but this way here I can access the diesel heater if I ever needed to. It's not gonna slide yet until I have the piece right here, but this way here I can access the diesel heater if I ever need to for any reason. So I have the wires and the fuel line that I needed to route through those holes that I made in the back part of this frame. And the only other wire that I have left behind is the one for the fuel pump, which we're gonna actually mount somewhere on this wall, as well as the fuel filter. So we're gonna go do that now, and then we're gonna wire up the electrical. 
All right, and so it, it is the next day, and I finally have everything set up. I painted the wall last night, as well as installed this piece of plywood so that I can mount the fuel tank to it, because I don't have any beams uh, over here for the fuel tank to mount to. So I have the wiring here, and it's all wound up and zip tied, and then it's routed behind that piece and it goes up the corner there. That's where the central control is. And then the rest of the wiring goes up there and over and then down into my DC fuse panel. That is where the negative is. And then that is where the positive is. And this kit comes with an inline fuse on the red wire. However, since I was connecting it to a fuse box instead of direct 12 volt power, I decided to take the fuse and put it into the fuse block instead. That is a 25 amp fuse. This heater does need to be hooked up to a 12 volt source with at least 15 amps. So that is it for the wiring. As for the fuel, I have the tank mounted. And here is where the fuel comes out. And it comes out here, down here, into the fuel filter, down around into the fuel pump down around through the floor and then it gets mounted to the bottom of the heater underneath and from what I've seen you do want to mount this fuel pump at a slight angle like that like a 45 or so and last thing to do is to put some diesel into this tank and fire this thing up and see if it works Okay, so now I have some diesel in the tank and I have the power hooked up with the fuse. So I'm gonna press the on button. So right now it's blowing out some air. Still waiting for the fuel pump to kick on. According to the instructions, it takes a few minutes in order to get going. So now the fuel pump is coming on. You can hear it. not warm just yet so the current temperature inside is 68 degrees I had it set to 78 just to see if it'll work we'll be back in a few so you can see the fuel being pumped through the line and you can hear that the fuel pump is clicking faster as well as the fan in the heater ramping up as well. And it's starting to feel warm. I'm installing this late in the winter season. So the weather has been kind of mild and it's about 60 outside. So I had to set the heater to like 87 in order for me to get this thing going because right now it says it's 77 in here but yeah that's blowing out warm awesome no leaks it's not too terribly loud and the fuel pump also and this kit also comes with a rubber sleeve that the fuel pump slides into as an insulator as well to help keep the noise down. Yep, the longer it runs, the better it feels. It feels really nice right now. Awesome.
finally got this thing set up. I'm super excited that I got this diesel heater installed. It's hooked up to my solar, so I'm not going to have to plug in anymore in order to heat the box. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Going for a car ride.